With Master Data Import Worksheet, you can define your own templates for how to import data into the system, meaning defining all the columns you want to import to. But with the standard setup from Supply Chain Box, we have made a lot of templates for you to make it easier. I'll just explain how those templates look. So if you go into the template list from the Master Data Import Worksheet, these are all the templates that we made out of the box. Let's take the customer template. Clicking on the customer template, I can add the template card. And here I can see how this template is set up. The type is customer, meaning I'm importing to the customer table. And as you can see here, the first column, the heading with column one is grayed out, meaning it's not possible to edit. That's because the first field has to be the customer number, which is the primary key of that table. Drilling down, I can see that the second column will have to be the name from the customer, the third column, name two, search name, etc. We provide Excel templates with this setup that fits to the setup, or you can just go in here and look for yourself to create your own templates. These are all the fields that normally would be entered when importing customers. But it's possible, of course, to change the templates here. If you don't want the city as column seven, you can just drill down and it will look into the customer table and you can select whatever field you would like to import to. Now the primary key was grayed out because the customer number has to be the first one. If for example, for example, look at the item variant and looking at this template card, the primary key has more than one field, it has two fields, therefore two fields are grayed out and the first column has to be item number and the second one has to be the item variant. Likewise on the sales price, which has a very complex key, so if you import sales prices or purchase prices, you have to respect, you have to respect the column or the grayed out column in this order, which is the primary key, and they have to be entered in the Excel sheet, even though the value is blanked out. So the unit of measure code has to be column seven, even though you're not entering unit of measure code. And after that, you can select all the different lines down here, how you would like them to be. Last example would be on the item. This template I have modified. This is not the standard template because all the standard templates will apply directly to the item table, uh, customer table, etc. But on this one, I have made changes and I've made that to show that it's possible to apply to master data fields as well. So in column four on this one, I could apply to, to configuration value and I could select material. This way it's possible to apply master data on all the table as well. But of course we cannot put it in the templates because we don't know your master data setup. So you'll have to define this by yourself, selecting all the different fields and applying all the different tables. So this will be the agenda, etc. So fields can come from either in this case, the item table or the master data information table on the items. I'd like to draw your attention to the setup of wheel diameter. It has both the, not the configuration value, but it applies to the column value, to the master data information wheel diameter and to the configuration value inch, because I like to have a drop down on the information value. So whatever value I bring in here should be on that specific configuration value. This means, just to show this example, if I'm looking at my items, and I'll just take the first item, and if I use that, a template to import to, it's possible to import, for instance, 29 uh, as a column in the Excel import in the Excel sheet, and it will apply to inch. So if I prefer to apply other stuff to millimeters, I will have to make either another column or change it to the millimeters. So I could, for instance, make three different columns applying to those three different or two different values in here. So that's also possible.